Hello. It's Tuesday, so I'm shooting a video, although I'm pretty sick and feeling unproductive. So instead, we're going to do a haul of art supplies that I recently got. Um, I had a $50 gift card for my birthday for Blix, so I decided to buy things and challenge myself to get stuff for as many various medium media as possible. Um, I slightly exceeded. Um, so <laughs> this is what $62 worth of art supplies in modern America will get you. Um, so the first thing is a pack of six really tiny 2 by 2 canvases. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'll do a series, um, of something. And then along with that, I got cheap $1, um, palette. I use these all the time. These are all I used um, when I was doing mostly acrylic painting. They're not great for oils because you need way more paint than this. But uh, well, I guess if you're doing tiny paintings, not really, but I tended to need more room when I was working in oil. And then, let's see. I got just two colors. Um, just like, it's like my default color, this turquoise green. Uh, and white, and I'm gonna see for this new project just like really focus on shapes um, and literally only delineating shapes with this palette. Um, so that'll be fun, just a challenge. And of course, tiny easel for the tiny paintings because you have to. Um, just a few more things. I got a series of new very tiny paint brushes. So I actually got a lot of stuff for this amount of money. I was kind of surprised. Um, but obviously these are like not the best brushes, but you know, the <laughs> you work with what you got. Um, so these are like six like smaller ones. They have a variety of different, um, just like for whatever you need. They have a fan brush for blending. They have like really tiny detail brushes. Um, so that'll be good. And then I got some clay. Um, just like different colors. So these are not, this is non-baked clay. Um, I personally have not done much sculpture, but it's something I want to get into, especially because the work I'm doing is kind of funky, like literally like of the funk movement. Um, and most funk work had traditionally sculptural and found object elements to it. Um, so this clay tune, this whole thing was like three bucks. Um, I'm probably going to make some eggs because for whatever reason, even though I've been vegan for like nine years, I just really want to draw and sculpt eggs right now. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at. Um, last couple of things that I got. Um, I got a ruler, straight edge. Um, I don't really need this, but a lot of my work has been pretty sloppy recently, so I feel like it'll be worth it to have a straight edge and then this is so cool. This I'm super excited about. This is like seven bucks, but it's, what is this? It's like different shades of off-white and darker papers. So there's like a tan and there's like, I thought there was a darker tan. Maybe there's not a darker tan, but originally what I wanted, oh yeah, there's like different shades of off-white, so this is like a yellowish one. Um, originally, the reason I wanted this is because I was looking at um, tan-toned and gray-toned um, sketchbooks, which are really useful because you can use both like black pens and then also white pens to give highlight. So it's really useful if you are working on shading and just trying to figure out value. Um, and that's something I wanted to work on, so it's cool that, and it's only 15 sheets, but like, it'll be a good taste of working with different, um, just something different, uh, instead of just like white paper all the time. So, that's kind of the challenge I wanted for myself, is to, um, just experiment with different media. And then, let's see, oh, I got so many things. So... Um, it's great when you have a gift card from your birthday, then you don't need to feel guilty about buying new art supplies like I do every time I go shopping. Um, Stadler, Stadler, I guess that's how that's pronounced. Um, highlighter, super useful. Um, I've been buying a lot of books on art and just like studying, so like literally useful as a highlighter, but also just like, it's a good color. 
it's like my color palette is pretty much this shade of green blue and then like neon yellow like orangey neon yellow that's that's like all I've been doing recently um and then I bought some colored pencils because I haven't worked in colored pencil for a really long time um it looks like most of these are blick and then one isn't I don't know why that is but just some colors that I've been thinking about recently and this this is also something I wanted to work with for the um the toned paper and then finally go to the pilot g2 I did speech and debate in high school and as any debate kid will tell you these are like hands down the best pens for writing ever just like super flow super easily um this is 0.38 so it's a little thinner than normal which is great for sketching detail which i also want to work on and finally a white gel pen <laughs> every artist's favorite tool um yet again something for like the toned paper and just working on highlight and detail um in the at the moment i'm trying to get acquainted with graphic art um as well as just honing my like natural like um physical illustration skill uh, and it's, it's a really interesting process um it's like some of it is like very intuitive and some of it is very counterintuitive um so it's a long journey that i'm gonna be on and i'm kind of i'm excited um but for the moment this is what i got all in all i got the canvas, everything paint-wise, the canvas is easel and paint, and then sketch-wise I got the pencils, the pen, the... And yeah, uh, just like all the stuff. <laughs> it's not a great way to end it. Um, but yeah, tune in, and um, thanks for watching.